basically take stem cells out of your hip and bone marrow and replace it back into the injured area. Can this cutting edge treatment take the place of knee surgery? We obtain the stem cells by aspirating his bone marrow and we inject that. Today on The Doctors and later. A revolutionary new treatment to repair your injuries quicker and stop joint pain without surgery. That's later. Coming up next, have doctors discovered the future of healing? Former Olympian Lloyd Eisler undergoes a cutting edge procedure that can work for your very painful problem too. If it's gonna make me younger and take, <laughs> and take away all the pain, I'll be happy to do it everywhere. That's next. Even after a bronze medal win in 1992 and another one in 1994, former Olympian pair skater Lloyd Eisler, he's refused to slow down, but just recently that all changed. Let's see why. I pair skated for 31 years. I won the World Pairs Championship with my partner Isabel Bresser in 1993. Also, we won two bronze medals at the Olympics in 1992 and in 1994. With all the years of skating at a very high elite level, it certainly has taken its toll on my body. I've had three knee operations, three shoulder operations, broken my ankle, broken my wrist, broke my nose four times, and had over 400 stitches. Lifting my partner over my head 20 to 30 times every day, 365 days a year. Thus, my shoulders have taken a beating. January 21st, I was playing hockey. I got pushed into the wall, put on my right arm to impact, and it popped. I end up with a two and a half inch tear of my rotator cuff. It hurts constantly. It does keep me from doing everyday things. My son is seven years old. I want to be able to go on the ice and show him how to shoot the puck. I want to be able to show him how to throw the football. Currently, none of those things I can do. I heard about a procedure called Regenix. They basically take stem cells out of your hip and bone marrow and replace it back into the injured area. And hopefully it'll grow back together with my own stem cells as opposed to having invasive surgery. When I heard about the Regenix as a possibility, for him. I was really excited and happy and optimistic that this could be something that might work. I'm loving the fact that I think this is going to enable me to do the things that I like to do for longer in my life. So desperate to get back on the rink, Lloyd underwent a cutting edge procedure. Well, today we're dealing with a rotator cuff injury. We look at his MRI. The tendon is supposed to continue on and attach all the way to the bone right here. Unfortunately, he has torn that and it is retracted all the way back here. The gold standard treatment for this type of problem would be surgery, but it is a big surgery with a long recovery. So he's decided that he'd like to not go through that and instead try stem cell therapy. I'm very excited. Absolutely, if it's gonna make me younger and take, <laughs> and take away all the pain, I'll be happy to do it everywhere. We obtain the stem cells by aspirating his bone marrow and we inject that right into that spot. Okay, so we're anchored into the bone here, nice and solid. You can see the bone marrow coming out into the syringe. We're getting excellent flow. We have one full syringe of bone marrow. Looks excellent. Okay, so right there where the arrow is, you can see the kind of stub, the end of the tendon. And then we need to kind of fill in this whole gap. So out of the blood that we took from him, we created some PRP, which is what we see right here. This is platelet-rich plasma. Okay, now we're gonna inject the PRP. So you'll see the fluid going in. We're gonna go right into the spot now that we need to fill. Survived. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now I said like this for a few weeks. Right, you did great. Yeah, so we got a lot of stem cells and we put it where we wanted to put it. And now he's in the brace and it's gonna hopefully Heal up nice. And Lloyd joins us today along with the man who pioneered the procedure, Dr. Christopher Centeno. Welcome to you both. <laughs> Obviously, you know, you developed this over years and years of, of perfecting something that most people don't do. Um, but absolutely debilitating. How long ago did you have the procedure? Uh, in February. I heard it January 21st, so I had the procedure in February, mid-February. How's it going? It's going great. I mean, I'm at the beginning stages of recovery, but I feel really great.